it's it's not like uh I gotta get better at doing the fade. But it's not like, um, there's no such thing as karma, right? You're not getting, why would you be getting paid back for anything? You did everything correctly. <laughs> these are the, these are the people who are elders in society. They think they did everything. I tried to show you. Aren't you bad? But you the you have a horrible attitude, lead with a bad example, and then get mad when I say maybe it's because you're a fucking girl, and then, and then, right? I don't be blaming women for the the way I feel about women. I blame their ways. Right? I blame I blame their daddy for letting them be that way. Just like they should blame my mommy for letting me be that way. Except the difference of me is I try not to be that way. Right? I don't need... She was raising me so an actual feminist would like me. Not these fucking lazy scratziatas. Right? That's what she was raising me for. You hear me doing the laundry? Right? You hear me... You see me just staying awake because I fucking sleep at odd times? Right, I have this weird sleep schedule where I have to stay awake extra time now. Because if I go to sleep right now, it'll just keep me asleep by the time I have to wake up at 4 o'clock, 4.30. So I should just drink another cup of coffee and then maybe do some fucking push-ups and kettlebell swings, right? Squat. Maybe I'll do squats since I... Uh, Since I use my shoulders and my back all day, you know? Right? Kettlebell swings improve your grip strength. Right? Maybe that's why I don't feel so horrible hanging on the back of the truck like that. Right? He wants me to sit on the back with the bumper bar. So I don't get whacked. But the thing is, I want to see it coming. You know? I want to see the fucking bump. So I can move with it. If I catch myself, if I get caught off guard and that fucking slippery ass bar with all the rain on it and then the garbage juice on the bottom of my boots, like, I'm not trying to fall off the back or into the fucking hopper. You know, I'm not trying to do that. I don't like sitting on the back, you know, unless the dude is passing me a doobie. That's the only time it was good. That's the only time it was Gucci to sit on the the back on the bumper. Is when he was passing me the, the J. Right, cause I I'm, I'm not bringing that shit to work with me. I'm the one that the cop will stop and then fuck me fuck me over for it. Right, and then you'll cry about privileges, even though I'm I'm just lucky I didn't get locked up for all the shit I was doing when I was younger, drugs and shit. I'm lucky I didn't get caught, cause my philosophy on it was. I'm going to do it. I buy it and then I do it. I don't walk around with the shit in my pocket. That's why people think they're selling something. Because you're walking around with the shit in a little baggie like you got something for sale. Get it? Where, where, when do I get time to be me? Right? These people, these people will mock you to death. They're like a gaslight. They're like the butane in the gaslight. Where they will have fun mocking you. They'll laugh about it. They will straight up laugh about it. And then five minutes later say, ah, not me. No, not me. All right? That's called gaslighting, ladies and gentlemen. Trannies and non-binary non -binary and cis, you know? Trannies and cis. Whatever the fuck you want to call that shit. I don't give a shit. You want me to call you a different name, I'll do that. But you're not a girl, you know? You're not a guy. To me. I'll say, I'll refer to you by she to you when, I, when I'm talking about you in front of your face. But, you know? What, you think I get special privileges? Like, you know? You don't think people say uh, the crazy guy to me when they're talking about me? You think they say Patrick every time when they're talking about me? No, they say that crazy guy, probably. 
Right, everybody got a name that's called of them behind their back that nobody wants to say to their face. Because they know it'll just start problems. Whether you could get beat up or beat up is not the fucking issue. Right, whether you could beat me up or whether I could beat you up is not the fucking issue. Right? They are narcissists. They are satanic. Really? They they gotta do this sigil magic where they're telling you. Right? They're like, no, me. But when you say that's what they're doing, they have to deny it. They have to act like that's not true. But they'll agree with you. They'll agree, agree, agree until you get real fucking specific. No, 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 no. And it's a gaslight. They acting like they don't fucking know, but they always got the answer. Right? That's why, maybe that's why my father treated me like that. Because he thought I was doing that same dumb shit. It's, except I was actually fucking stoon out when I was a kid. And needed extra guidance and attention. Like, I needed extra attention and didn't fucking get it. But, and now that I don't fucking need it and have the, you know... My ways of thinking, just because they're different from your ways of thinking, you don't get to change it now. I'm already a grown fucking man, right? You should have let me be homeless in New York, right? But no, then then everybody would then everybody would criticize you. Then you would look fucking horrible, and looking fucking horrible is worse than actually being horrible to these types of people. That's why they need you to shut up. They act like. <sighs> Here we go again, right? They do this dumb shit when you start telling the truth. They they act like it's the, they do this song and dance and script when you start saying something about what's going on when you're in the moment and you could recognize why this shit is happening, right? Because of somebody's actions. Words mean less than actions, no? Right? Words mean less than when somebody does. Because I could say I'm on your team all fucking day, but then if I go scoring... Hat tricks in your goalie's net. Does that mean I'm playing on your team? No. That means I'm not on your team. That means I'm a double agent, I guess, then, right? If that's what that means. Or whatever analogy you want to put on it. I guess that means I'm a zombie. A go a ghost player. A sleeper. Right? A spook. Right here, they destabilize you. They act like, and then when somebody who's actually on your fucking team, you're acting like I'm the bad guy. Even though I agree with all this shit you're talking about. <laughs> but I'm not just acting like I agree. I actually agree. Right? Act actually. Act you ally. Actually. Act you ally. Right? Act you ally. But you don't act like an ally to me. Because nobody's been... I never had real friends. It seems like... I only had a couple real friends I could count. And you know what? I'm not acting like they were the ones fucking me over all the time. Sometimes I didn't do them so well either. Right? Sometimes I just lied to them to appease their fucking ego too, right? Maybe that was the case. Who knows? Because maybe I was more comfortable. Lying to her about it. Just like my mom was more comfortable lying to me. I mean, she don't want to be here alone with that guy, I don't think. But then she acts like a victim. She she acts like that's what's going to keep me here. Like, that's the shit that's driving me away. Right, you're turning me into my dad by doing that. You know, you're turning me into my father by doing that. But the, but I'm not acting like it. That's the thing. Is you're trying to turn me, you're trying to turn me into my father when you do that dumb gaslight shit to me. Except I don't act the same fucking way as him now, do I? I scream about it and I tell you the truth and then I I say get the fuck out of here. You know, I don't want your attention and your fucking pity party and your smear campaign. Right, I'm the one, I'm one of these targets that says this shit because I want to be left the fuck alone. When you hear me barking, it's to leave me alone, right? When, when is it going to turn into when I have to do something for you to leave me alone? Except I know when I do something, that's going to give me the opposite of what I want. Because so, I'll never be left alone if I end up doing something to somebody, right? That's how you know I'm not crazy. Because I know that. 
I know that. I'm not fucking crazy. Right? I know that. If I do something to somebody, I get the clink. Clink, clink, clink. In the fucking jail cell. That's how I know vengeance is the Lord's. Like, no matter what happens. Vengeance is the Lord's. And that's it. Because you're all going to fucking regret leading people like me astray. Trying to make me believe lies about something. And then never ever opening up the thing you want me to believe in. Just do as I say, not as I do. Right? They act like this fucking bad attitude and bad energy always around. Is supposed to... You, you, you think that makes me feel important and needed? No, you're draining my fucking energy with that dumb negativity. All the fucking time. Whether it's about a race or a gender or a fucking budget or a generation or a fucking government or a news station. Right? I don't give a fuck about it. I really fucking don't. Right? But maybe because nobody gave a fuck about me really. Right? Seems like it. They all say they do. They all act like they want to say. They, oh, we care. We tried to tell them. We tried to show them. But you didn't. Because every time I had a fucking question, you were on the phone. You were talking to your friend on the phone. You were on Facebook posting. You were playing a game on your little fucking bullshit screen. Right? Except you're not a little teenager, right? Little teenager get away with that dumb shit. When you're an old fucking person doing that little teenage dumb shit, somebody need to tell you what's your age again. Right? Somebody got to tell you something about yourself when you do that. And then you act like it's not, oh, I didn't do nothing. Yeah, that's the fucking problem. You didn't do nothing. You ain't paying attention. You don't give a fuck. And the world still opens up for you. And then you act like males or white males are the ones with privileges. When I'm the one agreeing that they did the black dudes dirty. Right? And then all the black girls want to cry when they want to go after the white girls. And then the white guys want to get offended because the white guys ain't even treating the white girls right neither. Right? The white guys treat the white girls like how the black women treat the black guys. And then you wonder why they come to, you wonder why they go together. Right? I'm not fucking I'm not against I don't give a fuck if they want to mesh. Right? Maybe that's nature. Right? Maybe nature don't want white dudes around like that or something like that. Maybe nature don't want black girls around. Unless we get with each other, right? I don't fucking know. I have no fucking clue anymore what God is trying to show anybody. I let God speak for me. Just because you don't know what God's saying to you doesn't mean I don't know what God's saying to me.